Good afternoon. In this video, we are going to now swap from a stacking of the boxes to a palletization. We'll do a single row first, and then in another video, we will do two rows. So the first thing we need to do, much like we did in the previous video, is array our part. So I'm going to double click our pallet, and here's the original array. So box number one, we're going to delete our array set. So we're back to the original single box. We're going to move this to the corner and I found out that this pallet is 1100 millimeters wide and 1100 millimeters long. So we're going to fit, be able to fit two along Y axis and three along the X axis. So let's move this to the lower left corner here. So by doing a little math, we find that our X should be negative 300 and our Y should be negative 225 to be in the correct place. So now that I have this in place, so from center to center, I can add a column and then we'll add two more rows after that. So we have this in place. Let's go to add, and then here's our arraignment. And we're going to go in the x direction. We're going to add a total of three. And in the y direction, we're going to have two. And then in the z, we're going to have a single layer of one. So then here's the distances. So the y distance is going to be 450 millimeters. And then the x direction is going to be the 300 millimeters and because we're going forward or down in this case it is going to be positive and then to the right is also going to be positive so when i hit ok now i have my array of my boxes and pretty much the rest of it is pretty close to being the same we're going to have another for loop so that we can do another column but first we need to teach our robot where to pick up the first object or index number one so we're going to go to our part. So let's double click the palette and then let's click box one and then we're going to go move to. So there's our position. So this is going to be our pickup position and let's go teach add simulation program and we're going to call this drop off. And we're going to go instruction and we're going to go drop and we're going to drop box number one from the suction to wood pallet number one and we have our asterisks here close out of here so now we have our drop off so we have our pickup which did not change we still have that our conveyor movement which did not change we still have that and now we have our drop off so let's go into the actual teach pendant and start programming this program so let's go select and find the other program that we created so here's our pick and place and we're going to copy it, copy, and we're going to go pick and place. Enter. Yes, we want to copy it. Let's go into it. And for the most part, everything's going to be the same. We're going to change a few things. So let's set up a new, couple of new position registers. So let's go to data. And we have a counter. We have a speed. Those are all good. So let's reset up two more counters one in the column and one in the row so I'm going to rename this one I'm going to call this one column column counter and we're going to set that equal to zero and then we're going to have row counter so now that we have column and row counter and we're both equal to zero we're going to go to type and we're going to go to position registers and here we have the Z offset for the upright. So let's go number four. We're going to go and we're going to name this the X underscore Y offset. And let's go record, shift record. And then let's go inside that. So uncheck shift, go to position and let's make these zeros. And then done. So those are zeros and now let's set up something called a tool offset so let's go to position register number five and let's go to tool offset and let's go record unshift go to position and here we're going to change the offsets for our tool so if you remember from the previous video we found that our offset our z offset should be right around 200 or 250 so we're going to go 250 for our z we can always change that somewhere else and we're going to go zeros up here 
Now we are going to make this so that you can change this in the actual code. So if this is wrong here, it'll reinitialize with the actual number. So let's go done. So now we have our tool offset. So we're using the X and Y offset and the tool offset and most likely the home position for this program. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go to edit. And here's where we're going to reinitialize everything. So we don't need the counter here. We're going to change this to number three, and which is our column counter. And then we're going to have another one. So we're going to insert a, another row here. And this is going to be new instruction register equal to and this is going to be register number four, which is our row counter, and we're going to make that equal to zero as well. So here's our speed. Here's our position register number three we used from our previous program. So we're going to utilize position register number four, and we're going to set the X component to zero. Now we need to also set the Y component. So we're going to go add line here. So we're going to go new instruction registers equal to position register IJ position register number four and we're going to change the Y component which is number two and we're going to set that equal to zero home position is good let's go here and let's change this from loop to loops and we're going to do two for loops so the first for loop is going to be the counting from left to right which is what we're going to call the column and then, so if we look at it from the top view, so columns are going to be this direction. So column one, column two, and then these are going to be the rows. So the first one we're going to do is the column. So inside here, I'm going to insert another line. And then we're going to do another for loop. Here's our for loop, and we're going to utilize for loop for our column which is number three or register number three and we have two rows so we're going to go from constant one to a constant two then here's going to be our row input so row is going to be number four so register number four and this is going to be three counts so one two three so everything else is pretty close to being the same let's go through here so we're going to do the conveyor here is going to be our pickup and let's change this pickup so that we have that tool offset now before we just set up another item here so a good way to do this is when you program point number one we can go point number one here which is down here and then same thing right here so this is my safe position so all these are point number one which we just saved as soon as we move to the actual box here if we go to the end we can go to tool offset position register and we're going to utilize number so three was our z four is our x y five is going to be our tool offset so here's our tool offset this is our actual position one we're going to pick it up we're going to wait that 0.5 seconds to allow that suction to fully adhere to the box and then we're going to go to our safe position which we're going to add our tool offset to the end so we're going to go tool offset register five it's our tool offset so basically what we're doing is it's the same position but it's modifying our offset of our tool up that 250 millimeters so why don't we actually go up here and let's code this into our data set up here so i'm going to move up to our variables and then i'm going to add another line and let's go new instruction registers equal to we're going to go position register ij number five and we're going to change the z offset of that and we're going to make that 250 millimeters so in the beginning so if we notice that hey this is not working it's not far enough we can easily change this right here instead of going under data position registers and everything else so we're just initializing those variables let's go back down and here's our pickup so again we did our tool offsets so here is our drop off and our drop off is where we're going to modify our offsets now I get confused pretty quickly so what I'm going to do is actually go choice on the ends here and then I'm going to go no option so anywhere I have a offset I'm going to go no option just so I'm not screwing anything up I know that takes a little bit more time I know majority of people can probably get past this but my brain doesn't work that way so I always get rid of those lines of code and then I modify it so let's do the same thing for the drop-off so let's add to that position three 
which is the top position, and then position three. Now we do have to resave position three. So let's uh, touch up where we're at with the robot. So I'm gonna just go to line 31 here, move over and I go shift touch up. Yes, and now my position is right where we need it to be. So when we touch that up, it recreated our position number two because it's not utilized anymore. So let's go in here and let's add two to each one of these positions. So you'll now see all our points now at that area. And let's go with our tool offset. So right at the end, let's go tool offset point register number five. There's our tool offset. And then here's where we pick it up. And then this is our safe position. So when we move over and we're going to go offset, tool offset, position register number five. So now we have our offsets. Now that we have our tool offsets, now we have to use our position offsets. So let's go right at the end. So arrow over at the end on all three of these positions. And we're going to go to offset, position register. And we're going to use that position register number four, which is our XY offset. So then go to the actual placement, position register number four, and then once again, at safe position, position register number four. So we have a lot of position registers here utilizing our offsets and movement of our objects. So now that we have this in position, moving on down, we go to the home position and now we're going to add to our position register number four. So let's change those position registers to position register number four, which is our X, Y offset. We're going to utilize, since we're going in the X direction, we're going to utilize number one, and we're going to add 300 to that. So we're going to go to here, and 300 is our number. So we're going to go from here, we're adding 300, adding 300, and then we're going to loop back. And it's going to do that three times. So now, Let's insert some lines here. So that's our first for loop. We insert one line between here. So that's our first end loop. Now we need to, once we get done with one, two, three, then we need to go back to the first start and we're going to index over to our next column. So this is going to be our second for loop. So let's first add our row or bring our row back to zero. So we're going to go new instruction and we're going to registers and we're going to go to equal to register IJ and we're going to use our position register number four and then we're going to set the X coordinate which is one back to a constant of zero. So it's going to go back to first row. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add one to our Y component which is our column. So we're going to go new instruction registers add and we're going to use the position register ij position register number four which is our x y offsets and we're going to utilize our y component and we're going to take that number which what it was previously and we're going to add 450 as a constant so we're going to move over to the second column and then it's going to run through all the code again. So this is where we're going to add the last end four. So that's the second for loop. Then once that's done, it's going to wait that five seconds so we can see what we have done. And then it's going to end the program. Let's add our heading here and then we will run it. So set up for column two, and then it's going to rerun the rows after that. So let's run this and see if we got everything to work. All right, so you saw I actually went below. So we have to actually change our tool offset because 200 means we're going down, so we're going to have to go up. So let's go back in there. So we need to, since we're in our conveyor movement, we need to go to function and we're going to go abort all. And then we're going to go select, pick and place, enter. And then here is our tool offset. Let's go negative 250. So now we're going to go upwards in the direction. So let's try that again.
So once again, we're going to have to get the timing down. So now we swapped R from the Z stack to a stacking for a palletization, that five seconds. And basically the only thing we need to do with the program is get the timing down with our conveyor belt, but basically our programming works for this. Now again, there's a lot of areas that we could speed up the process a little bit. For number one, we can have the robot closer to our pickup before we actually pick up, so it doesn't have to take that time to move from our home position to here, but again, we're just getting the point across of how to pick up and palletize a simple pallet. And the next video, we will add a Z component to this, so we'll stack this a couple times as well.